Welcome to Lady Mail and Sir Francisco's Craft Time. We are so glad you could join us today. Today we're going to share with you a fun craft. It's cookie cutter painting. And it's so simple to do and it only requires very minimal supplies. So you probably have a lot of the supplies already at home. Or if you don't, you can pick them up at your local department store. But it's not a lot of stuff. So you're going to need your drawing paper, your favorite cookie cutter. It might be a train. It could be a heart. Maybe it's a butterfly. And you're going to need some paint of your favorite colors and a paper plate. And something to put your paper on. Remember, you want to use either newspaper or a cardboard box. Something so you don't get paint all over the house or on the table because moms don't like that. And have some paper towels handy just in case we have a happy accident that we need to get up real quick. So, are you ready to get started? Let's get started. Okay, now that we have all our supplies and we're all set up, we are going to pick out our cookie cutter. And with the patriotic holidays coming up, I am going to use a star shape. And I'm also going to use some patriotic colors. So we're going to take our paper plate and we're going to put what colors we need. Let's see, what would be patriotic colors? I am going to need some blue. Okay. And I am going to need some red. Remember, always shake up your paint because sometimes it gets stuck up in there and you just have to squeeze it to get it out. There we go. And we are going to use some white. Now I want to do something a little different. So I am going to add some gold. A little bit of gold to my paint. Okay, now, are you ready for some fun? All right, let's take our cookie cutter, which I am using a star, and we are going to make sure it gets all in the paint. So you're going to want to rub it around a little bit. And then you take your cookie cutter, because it has your paint on it, and you're going to put it on your paper. See, like so. And you just keep doing that over and over. Make sure you cover your paper. And no two people are going to have the same picture. So even if you do the same cookie cutter and the same paint, your picture is not going to be like anybody else's. All right. And once you think you have enough of that color, then you simply go to the next color. So what color do we want to do next? Let's do red. So, and it's okay if it mixes a little bit on your plate. Just as long as you get your red on your cutter. Okay. And there we go. We do the red. Get it on the bottom of your cookie cutter. Save the stars. So it's like you're painting your cookie cutter and then you're painting on your paper. All right, once you get enough red, Now, the next color we're going to is, can you guess? It's white. Okay, so we're gonna do just like we did with the blue and the red. We're painting the bottom of our cookie cutter. All right, and, and you would be surprised how the white actually shows up, especially since you're using white paper, but it does. And remember, I said I wanted to do something fun with this, so I'm going to take the big cookie cutter, and I'm going to put it to the side, and I'm going to take a smaller cookie cutter, 
and we're going to put it in the gold. Okay? So, get it dipped in the gold. And this is going to add just a little bit of sparkly. Because sometimes you just want to put some bling on stuff. We're all about the bling. All right. And once you get your picture the way you want it, and you can actually use different shapes as well. You don't have to use the same shape on your picture. You can mix it up. It's a little more white. And there you go. I have my patriotic picture, and you can frame it, or you can give it to somebody, maybe a veteran, or somebody else in the armed services as a gift. Now that we've finished our patriotic picture and they're ready for display, you can get your whole family together and maybe have a paint and pour night with the cookie cutters. It would be so much fun. Now remember, Sir Francisco and I want to see what you've created. So make sure on the videos and on our Facebook page that you post all the pictures and creations that you have made. And we may have a Lady Mail Sir Francisco virtual art show. Wouldn't that just be phenomenal? It would be wonderful. All right, y'all go and get ready. You have a lot of creating to do. Bye.